Uh, good day, good afternoon, good evening, everyone, anyone out there. This is Jason from LMGI, continuing with Solid Edge Fundamentals. We're going to talk about Flash Fit. We're going to make a new ANSI assembly and go to our home tab. Insert component is my favorite way. Opens up the standard parts, not the standard parts, but your parts library. And there are some parts. Let's see. There's a housing. First part comes in grounded, just drops right in. I don't like the way they've colored this part. It's a transparent green. It kind of um, conflicts with the color that you get uh, when a part's not fully positioned. So I'm going to change that. I'm going to go to View and Face Overrides and make that aluminum. I think that'll be a little clearer. So let's do Insert Component again. And. We've got a handle ball assembly. So this is a little sub assembly. So we'll drag that in. In the book, they're going to have you check out your options. Um, use reduced steps should be on. And all of these um, settings should be on. Circular edges is one that going to have you experiment with. You hit OK. And um, so you see that circular edges highlight and if you pick the one um, I like to pick the one kind of down at the bottom it, it's not necessary either the outer rim but we want the bottom where it's going to seat into the body so if you select this edge and then you select the equivalent edge uh, in the target um, it will essentially place it and um, create the same situation as if you had uh, used insert relationship. So it creates a mate and an axial. It's very fast, very productive, but it is um, locked in rotation. So if I click on the axial, uh, you see the rotation is locked, and if I wanted it to be unlocked, I could. Uh, so I'm going to unlock it. And um, let's use flash fit a little bit more there's some tricks I want to show you so we use insert component and there's a little end plate now remember you can orient the um, I'm holding my middle mouse button down and kind of dragging in this preview window and if you come off and come on it you can usually get a little tool tip uh, that tells you what the tricks are to rotate that and I'm going to drag this in Notice the orientation is exactly the same. And because the, the spaces are kind of facing closely at each other, if you just use flash fit and select this face and this face, it will choose mate over planar because they're more pointing at each other. So that's good to know. Um, if you ever need to move the part for some reason, um, you can just drag it. If, if it did come out backwards, you can poke the flip button, but it also tells me in the tooltip that I can just tap F on the keyboard and that flips it uh, from a mate to a planer and vice versa. Now if I just click and hold and drag, um, I can change the position of the part in the scene. <clears throat> Uh, if I right click, it'll clear that selected face. If I hold my control key down, you can actually rotate it in the scene independently. In this case, we've already got a mate, so it is stuck to that face, but it will allow you to rotate it. And then just right click to clear that. And let's say I place a hole. And if it were really out of whack and you wanted to kind of get it closer, you could technically drag it in a little closer and then just right click to clear that face you picked just to drag it and then pick the hole and the target hole so pretty easy or very easy let's drag in another uh, end cap um, 
So this is backwards, so if I really wanted to, I could hold the control key down. Um, yeah, I clicked on it and I started to drag and then I pressed the control. So just experiment with it. And now I'm lifting the mouse and kind of dragging it around. So that's a way to get it, rotate the part independently in the scene. Only works in flash fit, though. Until they change it, and then someday somebody will watch this video and say, hey, he's not right. Okay, so we've got a couple of end caps in. That looks pretty good. Um, so that's a little bit about flash fit. And the activity continues on quite a bit more. People often immediately want to open and close the, uh, the handle and you would apply a angle relationship. And this is one of the relationships I like to have um, reduced steps turned off and um, because it, it kind of forces me to slow down, or it allows me to slow down, and it gives me this, this nice uh, drop list where I can represent the angle in all the quadrants. I think that will work. Uh, so 90 degrees. And it's asking me for one thing. If I look down at my prompt, it is asking me, Sometimes it will know, but sometimes you'll have to tell it where kind of where that angular dimension would lie. Just kind of pick a flat face. And now you see the, um, the beauty of this, I guess. And then I'll just hit OK. And there's my valve. And that works because I, I relaxed the, um, the, the axial. Here to be uh, unlocked. Let's go and place a component. Let's see, I think there's a ten millimeter fastener. Uh, let's bring this in. We can place this with the uh, very quick. click technique. People immediately want to learn about patterning, so I'll show you that. It's super easy. Pattern. Select the component if you hadn't already. Accept. It wants to, know, wants to know where to get the pattern information from, so I tell it. Now, it seems a little funny that you have to tell it, but there could be multiple bolt circles in this. Uh, it really doesn't know for sure uh, which one to use, so you kind of have to tell it. Now, the reason it's all wonky like that is um, uh, I'll explain that in the um, the next video. Um, what you probably could do is um, just leave it and realize that, oh, I guess this should have been down here. And we'll go ahead and just move that, um, move that one fastener. And um, this is just because of a setting I've set in the, um, let's cancel this. Here I can say repair, replace where possible. I think that looks good. We'll do this again. And then it wants to know the target and right click to accept. I'm going to do a deep dive on patterning a little bit later to talk about this situation and how this issue was created and how to avoid it. Um, 
but that's a little bit about flash fit uh, with a little bit of patterning thrown in uh, and that's it for now